in this video, which is part 27 of the coin market cap chart for chart chance, we're going to focus on this item here. For example, we're going to drag this. And then if I'm going to drag this back at the very end, you see it will become now always visible. And we're going to solve that one. Same here. And if I go here, as you can see here, I'm not able to surpass the minimum value here. And same with the other side. The minimum value cannot surpass the maximum value. So let's start to solve these items and create this as well. So let's start to continue on and in this part 27 we're going to work on basically creating this button and make this button a bit more according or proper because right now as you can see here we can surpass this and then we get this result that is exactly doesn't make any sense it's like inverted results basically and as well if we go here we go somewhere outside we lose the buttons as you can see so what I want to do is I want to make sure that these buttons are not disappearing and that we have a lock the moment we hit this area here so let's start to work on this now let's scroll down here to the very bottom and we're going to focus on these two buttons here and what we need to do here is creating multiple if statements and it will be always based on the scroll point here so let's look, what do we want to solve first? So for example, what I want to avoid is that if we would go here, it should not disappear the button at all. It should just understand that when we are there, and then I notice that we're not able to select them. All right, interesting, refresh. Probably because when we do this, it disappears here somewhere and then it doesn't work. So what we need to do is when we go back here, all to the end, it should just highlight here or always maintain at the beginning. So, to do that, what we need to do here is we're going to create a very simple if statement. We're going to say if, and I'm going to say you drag data, and then the drag data, oh sorry, the drag delta, which is the difference. And now we're going to say here, we're going to say grab here the offset x, which is basically the x coordinates. Once we have this, what I want to do now is I'm going to say here, if it will be lesser than the left coordinates. And this is basically the chart area which we have in the object destructuring so if it's lower than left which would indicate beyond or going back more further there in that case what I want to do and I will make another condition as well and if scroll point because the scroll point here will be equal to minus one this is very important so let me just show you, we can just even check that. If I save this, you see here is scroll point to console log. Open up developer app, refresh, and then if I move this, you see here, when you go there, there you are. You can see it's minus one. However, this is very important because if you go at the other side, we also get minus one as you can see here. So we need to make sure that it understands that we should be at the left side and not at the right side. So this is one of the key items we need to consider and this is the reason why I'm doing this double condition so now we have this here and now we're going to say here very simple scroll point will be equal to zero because it's the starting point here so if I save this refresh then we move around here there you are so now of course you get an error because it says the assignment of a constant variable which is correct let's say here let value save because this needs to be a let value and not a constant refresh there we are now as we move this there it will not disappear at all if we go here other side it might there we are but that's all right now i'm going to do the next condition so the next condition will be basically based on if we are going here and we have the other one here what we want to do is we want to make sure that we stop here somewhere there will be like a break and that way would block it. I know that if you look at the coin, uh, the, the coin market cap chart, they have they allow you to go like this, and then they have it very nicely done, making it again correct. However, that is very complicated matter, so I will skip that because we will not be able to do that. So what I'm going to do here is I just want to block it here. That makes just more sense for me as well. I just want to block it and do nothing more afterwards. So what I'm going to do here, if and I'm going to create another if statement. We're going to do again another uh, offset x. I'm going to grab this one here. And then we're going to say here if 
um, what we can do well basically we could let's solve the right side first I realize we could just do that one is uh, I hear well it's like let me double check well this will be probably based on here I guess that's the one we should do first and it's the easiest one to do as well so we're going to say if right and scroll point will be equal to and this should be minus one as well and this is very important by the way we're working with an order and you need to make sure you follow this order if not you will get a undesirable re result so i'm going to copy this but of course it is not zero now no this will be whatever the value is so and the value would be the date dot index of we're going to grab basically now whatever would be the max value here so i'm going to grab this whatever is the max value and we're going to get here the index number so if i save this now refresh let's do this all right move here then i go here if i move this all right and if i would be here i was expecting it to block it but it doesn't work yet all right so i'll have to check that later on what's going on here all right so after some checking i just figure it out well basically we're very close what i need to do here is because we're right now on the max so it would reassign the max value but what i want to do of course is not to be because if i do this from here i'm basically on top of it and that's not what i want i want to be when i here i want to go for index uh, values back meaning here i don't say max only but let's say minus four so that will be my scrolling point so the minimum value would be max minus four and then we would see here the right movement there you are so even if i'm here it will always jump back to the original yes there you are so of course we're not done yet because if i still do this and then i do this and then i will move here then we're able to surpass it because we have still another condition and that's the final condition we need to do here so i'm going to say if statement and then we're going to say here again we're going to say here will be the scroll point we're going to grab the scroll point we say if the scroll point would be smaller then we're going to grab here the dates basically the dates array and then we're going to search for the index index of and what i want to do here is to compare basically these two points with each other so what i'm going to say here then if oh sorry i said here smaller but in this case because we're working with the the min value if this would be larger than the max value or than this one here we need to do something so that's the one we need to convert so we say if the scroll point would be larger than the index of and then we're going to get here my chart dot config dot options dot scales dot x dot max minus four which could be anywhere on that chart basically on the scale of the chart in that case what i'm going to do here if this is the case the scroll point will be equal to and then what we're going to grab here is this value here copy all of this put it in there so now if i save this refresh go here move this one there there you are and go here doesn't block anything anymore so now we've done this but of course let's do this one here where we have this disappearances as well luckily that's very straightforward now because we have here done we've done here already our heavy lifting let's copy this scroll down here and we just need to do the opposite logic so we're going to put that in there make sure that this here becomes a let value because we're not allowed to use a constant of course and now what we're going to say here is the opposite so instead of left we're going to work with right and then if it will be bigger then and this here maintains we put this here not on zero but we're going to put it on the last value basically at the very end here which would be the dates index uh the last one so that would be dates dot length then minus one once we have this one we have here the number and then what i want to do here exactly the same what we're going to do here this will be smaller if we were smaller than left basically i want to make sure that if we go here it does something and it understands what 
needs to do so we have the same thing here then we're going to say here this will be just max oh sorry this will be the min value minus instead of minus we do plus four so whatever that one is then here the same thing and if the scroll point would be smaller than the minimum value plus four if that is the case then this will be plus four a min value exactly the opposite logic save refresh go here put that in there there you are look at that beautiful so now i want to drag this there now and then I go here it doesn't disappear go there it doesn't disappear go here it doesn't disappear it doesn't even allow me to go to the other side so this is basically the way to do it and if i even scroll this then i grab this and then i do some weird stuff all right this works all nicely so as you can see here now we have this nicely done of course there's still some items like this here i don't know what happened right now that will be interesting to figure out eventually but um all right so that's interesting we have to check here and then if i grab this all right so i have to see what this is that looks like a uh not a challenge there's an if statement that, that we need to solve or a bug that we need to remove another item that i want to cover is if i click on this and I hold this and then I go out here and then I still hold it you can see we're still moving here and even if I let my mouse go here and then here it still sees this so we need to solve this as well so I need to figure out this one and probably will be in the next video I'm going to figure out how we can remove this uh, mouse up bug item well not really a bug basically just an item that will condition to do to add on